So tell me what this is, because I do not know what this is. Um, I have the, I got the recipe on uh, Pinterest. It's um, biscuit sausage, biscuit sausage, eggs, cheese, and gravy. We always, I feel like we always try something new every Christmas yeah, morning. Yeah, I have been. Yeah. Neat. That's a big piece. <laughs> what is, is... Saturday. Saturday. I knew it was Christmas. That much I had figured out. Could not remember the specific day. Merry Christmas and welcome to Saturday. We're over at my parents' house. It's, it's not as late as it normally. There's There's been Christmases we don't really get out get out of bed and over here until a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But we were over here at uh, 9.30? Mm -hmm. yeah. 9 to 9.30. No, it was, it was after 10. It was after 10? Mm -hmm. I thought we had accomplished something. What is, is that the oh. recipe? Mm -hmm. Biscuits and gravy with sausage and egg breakfast casserole. So we'll... Uh, We'll try it. Mount, I'll let you, already... you know how it is. No, I have not. Okay, well, I'm excited about trying. I love trying new stuff. Try to find something different. That's pretty good. Is it? It's, it's rich. Yeah. It's really rich because it's got all the the components of richness. <laughs> that's my that's my explanation. And such thing, a way with words, Steve. That's good. And it, the thing says that it um, heats up very well. So it says good for leftovers. Okay. Well. Yeah, it's good. That 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 um, sausage gravy on there, really, really rich on top of the other stuff. But it's good. The biscuit is good too because it adds a, a, a very necessary um, texture mm -hmm. to the whole thing. Anyway, gonna have some breakfast. Open some gifts. That's it. I mean, it's Christmas. I don't know what people want from me. Have you ever held this thing? No. Well, 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 I mean, I feel like you're trying to open pre Oh, my Lord. It's heavier than it looks. Oh, it's very heavy. Wow. Mal, there are some gifts here for you. Yeah. And there are some gifts here for me. Uh-huh. Do you want the gifts that are for you, or do you want my gifts? Both. Oh, man. <laughs> are you S or M? Oh, I guess you're M. Why don't we start with uh, Calvin and Bick's final gift for the advent calendar? It's an idea. Oh, this is this. What is it? I saw the, the top and I was like, maybe they just packaged something in here. It's a paper quilling set. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't know what that is. So you take little pieces of paper, like this, like they're little strips, and then you kind of like curl them and make designs with them. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. And it does stuff. You see the, the peacock on the cover here? Oh, yeah. Ooh. And that's just all paper. Oh, that's a, so it's it's paper art. Yeah. It's kind of kind of like a form of origami. There's a ton of it in here. Like there's all these different colors. Oh wow! I see a Coca-Cola logo. This is. It's a butter dish. That's what it look like? It's a butter dish, for butter, not for Coke. I mean, I guess you could put Coke in here. If you if you That's wanted cute. like Coke infused butter, I was just gonna say cola infused butter. I don't know if that would work, but it might be something worth trying. That's cute. Yeah. That's really cute. Calvin Big, thank you, and thank you for an entire month's worth of uh, worth of fun. It's been fun to just open up something new every day. All the unstable unicorn packs and washi tape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We appreciate it. And now there are so many more things to open. This is from Santa. Oh, I broke it. I'm sorry, Santa. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. It's a Super Nintendo Christmas ornament. Oh, I want to see this. This is super cool. This is super cool. This is my favorite Nintendo. <laughs> it's a Super Nintendo. This is really well like modeled too. Like, I don't know how well you can tell on the video, but like even the back, like you'll never be able to see it because it's so small, but even like the channel three, four RF out. Like Point it all, this way. I have it zoomed in right now. Like even, even all the text and stuff is, is 
written on there and you can see it. It's kind of crazy how good this is. I can still remember that Christmas morning I, I first played Super Nintendo. How old was you when you got that one? <sighs> Young. The Super Nintendo came out in 91, but I didn't get it for a little bit longer because I got it um, when Donkey Kong Country came out, which was 90. Oh, I remember. When you say that, I remember where we was with Donkey Kong Country because you was we were up there and you were playing that at Dad's house, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I opened it up. I, I opened it up that. there and I, uh, I remember, like, it came with Super Mario World also. And I played Super Mario World, but I was most excited about Donkey Kong Country. And I remember sitting in the side room there and playing it. Yeah, in that it. bedroom, yeah. I would have been five, maybe wow. four, four or five. I was really young. Wow. And I can hear that music. I could, you know, you were really, really into that. And you got, is that the one you got the, the book that went with it? Oh, yeah, I was getting played. So, yeah, from a young age, I was getting played. Because I remember you were stuff. sitting yeah. on the couch reading the manual. Yep. And Dad said he's going to need glasses at a very early age because you just sat reading. And, and I did. I needed reading. glasses like the next year or something. Mm -hmm. um, wow, that just brought. When you said Donkey Kong Country, that really flashed a memory for me. Yeah. 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 Anyway, this is, this is great. The other game that I, I remember very vividly was um, Super Mario All Stars. I was going to say Earthbound. <laughs> Well, yeah, obviously Earthbound. Like, I put a lot of time in Earthbound, but I didn't have that when I first got the Super Nintendo. But we had Mario All-Stars. And me and Dad had played the Super Mario games on the original NES, and then All-Stars had all of the same games on it, and we got to play those again, but they looked different. They were upgraded graphics. It was just a fun... It's a fun memory. Now? Who's it from? I don't know. Santa Claus brought all these last night, though. Yeah, you can just assume that... Um, they're all from Santa. They're all from Santa. Ooh, socks! I was just thinking how I didn't grab socks at home. Well, now you've got and some here. Sparkles. And we have a kitty kitchen towel wall. It's cute! You want to open another gift? You do it. It got handed to me. Okay, well, that's a good reason to open it. Ooh! Oh, these are soft. What is it? Our kitty pajamas. Oh my goodness. You got so many kitty things. <laughs> and their pants too. Oh, thank you. That's cute. Oh, they're very soft. You could open the little one from me. The little envelope. This one? Yeah. What is it? Just from me. Pretzels, 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 pretzel sticks, pretzel slider buns, pretzel buns, and then mustard, mustard, Fudge sauce, Parmesan dip, salt, salt, salt. It's a pretzel box? It's a pretzel box. You got me a pretzel box? Yeah. Or what, you got me a picture of a pretzel a box? A pretzel box. No, I didn't order it because um, I know there's other food, and I didn't want it to go bad. Oh, okay. So this is like a... A promise to buy a pretzel box. We'll get it when we're not drowning in other food. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> this looks incredible. Doesn't it? I thought you'd like it. How did you find this? I was searching like artisan pretzels or gourmet pretzels. She's pretty creative. It, yeah, that sounds really good. Ooh, slippers. You got you got ahead of yourself putting yeah, those I socks know. on. I mean, oh, they're fuzzy. They are gonna keep your feet warm. Yeah, they're they're super thick and plush. These are nice. Thank you. Oh my goodness, it's underwear. <laughs> I like wearing underwear uh, instead of, you know, instead of like not wearing underwear, you know, like, mm. because if you don't, your, your, oh um, your butt just touches your pants. That one looks like a candy cane. I love candy cane stripes. But do you like candy canes? I do. Why aren't you eating one right now if you like them so much? Because I have... This paper does not rip. I have dark chocolate covered cherries to eat instead. Oh, I haven't had these in a while. It's been a, it's been a few Christmases ago. These are candied pecans. A lot. Like... I'm trying to, mm, hold on, let me show you. This is important. You, you need to understand if you've never seen these before. 
Young's is a, oh my god, they smell so good. Young's is a Carolina tradition where you get those are all pecans. Oh my god, so you got like chocolate covered and white chocolate covered and like cinnamon and uh, candied and whatever these other ones are. Powdered sugar in the middle. Yeah, these are so good. They're so stinking good. And uh, they last forever because there's so many of them. I really love these. It's a mandolin. Oh. Not an instrument mandolin. I was like, that's gonna be a small mandolin. A mandolin. That works so good. That was the one so I So it slices in. and it juliennes and has a grater. Hmm. I've always wanted one. You just gotta be careful not Ooh, to cut your nice storage. Oh, be yeah. careful not to cut your finger I, off. I, yeah, I have to be careful not to cut my finger off. And it, it is. It's very compact. I have that one, and that's the one I did cut my finger on. So you definitely have to be careful. But that works better than any I've ever tried. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Look at this. Oh, we've got a lot of meats. We got another salami. Another salami. Pepper salami. Uh, a sausage, a pepperoni. A pepperoni is real good. And a uh, salami again. Some Trader Joe's. These are great. We do. We actually we put these on pizza. The pepperoni makes the most sense, right? But we actually put a lot of the other ones on pizza, and they work. Huh. We like that. I know it's the same same brand I got you last year, except that one we found at Trader Joe's. I've so. never had the pepper salami, so that's I'm really interested about this one. Thank you. You're welcome. I love this stuff. Lifesavers. Oh my goodness, I haven't, I haven't seen that very specific thing in in years. The, the storybook. Yep, that was that was something that I've gotten for Christmases in the past too. Yeah. Every every year for Christmas, um, my mom and dad would get me and my brother one of those. They I've used, never seen them before. Yeah, really? that was always something that was under the that was always under the Christmas tree. We got coloring books, crayons, and a lifesaver book. And then as we got older, we didn't get the crayons and coloring books anymore. But we always got those every single Christmas. <laughs> but they used to be double sided, so you used to get two packs in in mm -hmm. there, and you opened it up, and it was a two pack. Hmm. So um, I like lifesavers because I like all of the flavors in it. I don't mm -hmm. like grape, and there's no grape in lifesavers. Oh, there isn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna definitely steal one of those because I haven't had a lifesaver in forever and that packaging is like super nostalgic to me Yeah, when I seen them too, it brought back a Bunch of memories. memories yeah. I actually got them for everybody at work. Oh, really? Yeah <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it was nostalgic for them, too. Yeah, well a lot of them were like they'd never seen them before Oh, really? I told them the story that it was something I got every year for Christmas. So it's like, yeah, that's cool Yeah, I've never seen these before Oh. Is this called Battery Daddy? Because it looks like it's called Battery Daddy. It's called Battery Daddy. <laughs> yeah, you can hook up various batteries and it'll show you how much charge it has. And I was trying to find out what batteries you use because I wanted to get batteries. Oh my goodness, the back just stores like double A's. Holy crap. I got him one too yeah. because a lot of times we have batteries and sometimes, you know, one of them works, one of them don't. Mm -hmm. um, we never know where they're at, you know? Yeah, so I. Wow, I, so if you have your all your batteries in one place. You got that thing. That's heavy. I mean, it can't be that heavy. It's in a small bag. It's pretty heavy for how big it is. Okay. Ooh, it's a candle. That smells really good. Oh, that does smell good. Steven, smell this. What is it? Pumpkin pie. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. It's... <laughs> Makes it smell... It's, it's hard to tell oh, sometimes. Awesome. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. Really I can't tell. Vitamins. No. Is that yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> I'm not even reading anymore. I'm like, they're all, they're all for me. I'm open them all. All right, this one is for me. Oh, okay, here we go. Mom's the Christmas genie. I don't, I don't have to steal Mal's now because I have, I have some lifesavers of my own. I knew own. you would be stealing Mal, so. Yeah, you knew I would. <laughs> Give me them. This is for Kepi. Kepi's not here, but we will open it on his behalf. It's a kicker rat. Oh, that's a big one. And it's a holiday rat. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he loves kicker toys. He does. Oh, that is very cute. He's going to love that. Yeah, and the tail, he's going to love that. <laughs> I'm wondering how long will it be before we're cutting that tail off. <laughs> or the whiskers. Or the whiskers. Sometimes we have to Kepler-proof toys. <laughs> yeah, because he tries to consume parts of the toy. Oh, God. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is, that's a, a Ooh, nice, I like that pattern. Yeah, I do too. Got like the hunter green and the gray. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen that color combination before. And there's also. And I couldn't remember if you had one. I don't have one that looks like that. I don't have one that looks like this either. This is uh, like the blue and black plaid with green stripes. I like that one. Yeah. I like them both. I like this one. A lot, because I ain't never. This reminds me. Some about this reminds me of the PGA Tour. What's that? Golf. Yeah. Why? Why does this remind me of Green golf? Blazers? You're gonna be a golfer. Maybe I don't know. Is, when I look at this, I'm like, that looks like golfing, but I'm not sure why. All right. Here's the gift that I thought was for me, but was actually for you. I'm sorry. Oh, that's what this is. It's a water pick. <laughs> it's a. Oh. Oh, it's that thing that the dentist was like, have you- No, I think you're sh gonna share that. Yeah, it comes with um, multiple nozzles that are like, it's like two of each. Because oh. the rec dentist recommended free. Yeah, well the Not dentist the it. dentist recommend f recommended flossing. And I said, well, what if I didn't? And they said, well, can you at least do this? It has like two of these types, two of these and two of these. So it's, it's perfect for you and I to both use it. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. Thank you. Yeah, I um, I'm not great. I wanted one. I'm not great at flossing, and uh, they said the dentist said that this could help. So. Well, you definitely, you know, you you don't get any more gum, so you might as well. <laughs> try it. You know, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I will. You know, Frosty only came to life because of the hat. You know that. Yeah. Too. I only just recently learned that because we were having a conversation. I was like, "Mal, what caused Frosty to be alive?" And she said, "The hat." And they put the hat on his head. He began to dance around. And that really makes you wonder what what was going on with that hat. Where did that hat come from? It's a magic hat. That's a that's a a relic. Right. It's a shirt. This is also pretty. Oh, it's. A, I like that one. You don't have that one, does he? No. no. You picked plaid, all plaids I don't have. This is really... That's it looks very soft. Uh, soft. In, like, not too thick and warm. Mm -hmm. Perfect for a 70 degree Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a high of 74 today. It's not the highest high we've ever had on Christmas, but it's oh, yeah. it's it's a little up there. I've, I've been happy with the temperature. Yeah, this is really nice. Thank you. I like all of these. Some things now can't eat, but most of, I think there's only like one thing about them. There's zebra popcorn. This stuff is super good. Oh I, man, yeah, this is. I'm worried I just opened it. No, I don't think I broke the seal. Because <clears throat> I grabbed it and the top ripped a little bit. Oh, okay. This stuff is really good. Yeah, that's. That's the stuff I said in there. I had bought I another really bag. I'm like, it. oh my gosh, this stuff was too good. Yeah, it is really good. There's. The snack of the year. That is the snack, snack of, the year. of the year. That is absolutely the best stinking snack. There's another bag, so we each have our own. Holy snack cow! Of the year. Each have your own bag. We can Not race. Share. We can Not see. Share. You will win. What? Why would you say such a thing? Oh, are those the chocolate covered mangoes? Yeah, that. Mm, I had never tried those until you got those for us for Christmas. Was it last year? Oh, did I? Yeah. I don't remember. That. Oh well, they were delicious. They were really. Uh, they were really good. highly recommended, but I didn't remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, they're really good. What and else is in there? This is just for you. Ooh, you know what those look like? Um, 
Oh, what is... No, 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 no. Uh, Fifth Avenues. I've never had them. Well, you can't. So you never will. But Mom knows what I'm talking about. There's a old candy bar called a Fifth Avenue. Yeah. You can't really get them everywhere. But, but I think they're like the pretzel bites, but they just have chocolate on them, so... Oh, mm -hmm. well, that's what the picture reminded me of. Yeah, it does. Anyway, those will be opening dawn before the end of the night. <laughs> this is so heavy. This... It looks, you know what it looks like the, from the front of the box? It looks like Jeff Andonet's gun mm -hmm. from Earthbound. This is a massager. The reason I know is that I have been um, attacked with one of these while I've been here before. There was one time I, I came over and I was like, yeah, I don't know. I got something with my, my shoulder. And Mom goes, hold on, I'll get the gun. <laughs> she refers to this as the gun. And then... a promptly proceeded to attack me with this thing which was beating me up but it did it did feel like it, it did something it you know really... and there's actually all these attachments yeah so if you're like i want to be attacked but instead of it being with the ball can i be attacked with a fork you know if you it have... does work really good and like all the massage therapists i work with a lot of them have have that tool mm -hmm. because the... it really does you can target you know what area where you're hurting like i said it might be a while for you use it on now but <laughs> um yeah. it's it really does work and i know you get that too from sitting with with your work that, that you do true. the physical therapy youtube channel recommends that too the one we watch oh really mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's that's a um that's actually a better one than i have but i was like that's a that it'll last a long time it's a new shredder oh my goodness because ours died. Ours di did you know our side? Oh, I didn't remember mentioning that. Yeah, our shredder died. We had yeah. a paper shredder. Yeah, because it was the one that was dad's. Was it? Yeah, it was from my dad's. So it was old. And yeah. we shredded all the paperwork up there with that shredder. And then we had we had one. So when we came back, we give that one to you. Uh, but it's I think it's, you know, especially with you guys having a business, there's just stuff you need to. Yeah, we actually, so the way that we've done we, it keep a box the way that we've done it is we've kept a box because our shredder died we keep a box and we just throw a crap load of stuff in it to shred mm -hmm. and then we bring it over here because our shredder died and now we don't have to do that we just have a shredder santa puts it where he wants mallory that's huge yeah mallory what did you give me that's this big I haven't seen it yet it's a puppy i had it sent here and i was like hey will you open this and wrap it this is real big. We believe one perfect popcorn. What is oh oh po 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 Oh, ginger snap popcorn, fancy butter pop. So these are just kernels. Just kernels. And then you pop them because that's how popcorn works. Hi. Keep going. Test launch, lightly salted. What is it? How'd you come up with this? Salty caramel. Ooh. She's always very creative. Yeah, she is. Far more than I'm capable of being. It's a popper for oh. kernel. Oh. oh. For so microwave. Comes with that. Mm -hmm. oh. And that's why you get the test one so you can practice. Oh. And then there's somebody must love you a lot. Well, that's true. Oh my lord! Look at all that's of That's what these. I was gonna get, but then the the ones on the floor that you already opened are the holiday ones. So there's salted umami. And you fancy just do it butter, in the microwave. Mm -hmm. uh, Chepadeno, which is like cheddar jalapeno, Maui heat, sinilicious, sinilicious, vanilla cake pop. These are like really fancy popcorns. Is this the same? Yeah, it was a two-pack. Okay. Man. <laughs> you ought to just keep it in that measuring box. It looks like it fits, fits so good. So sometimes I crave popcorn, and I I pop a bag, and then Maui eat like two, and I eat the whole bag. Which is fine, because I like popcorn, but um, yeah, there's a lot for us to try. This is my gift to you. An envelope? It's an envelope. Is this the Best Wife of uh, 2021 award? No. But you won that. Thanks. You just, you know, I did, there's not an award for you. 
Wow, somebody likely very attractive gave you a gold belly gift card for you to share amount. I don't know, like two reasonable meals probably. Love, Steven. <laughs> this isn't disc only. You're not Tom. You don't have to describe. Did you make that? He made it. Oh, that's just, that's a re that's a very real thing. A gold belly gift card. Gold belly is a company that works with famous restaurants or places where something is special you can't get in other parts of the country oh. and they do like overnight shipping so one of the things i want to do is there's a sushi place in new york that will overnight you everything to make your own sushi oh like actual nice fish because we can't always get some stuff here yeah and like there's um there's a place in mcguanago wisconsin that's very famous for doing brown paper apple pies and like they're on there and yeah. stuff like that like ramen um fancy soups and donuts and cakes and everything cool. that kind of stuff's very creative i honestly don't remember this it says that it's to you and it's from me but i don't i don't recall what that is oh this <laughs> i remember this this is a, a hobonichi drawer pouch it's a liberty fabrics one which is really cool because i've always liked them but i always go for the mother ones and it's a what kind of a pouch? I'll show you. This is something that Mal wanted very specifically. I'm glad that you forgot about it. I did forget about it. It makes Christmas feel more special. The company I buy all of my planners from, they do these pouches and you can put like pens and there's like little holders to hold your pens in here. Uh -huh. And you can keep all your stuff in and it has a back pocket. This is like a very, very... Well, it's pretty. Hobonichi has different levels of like planner covers, and this is one of the nicer ones that they made into a drawer pouch. So, and I love the size pouch that they have. I got one more thing for you. There you go. What is this? Merry Christmas, Mel. You said you only had the gold belly. Yeah, I only had the gold belly. You did get it. Yeah, I got it. I told you that they sold out of them. You did tell me That's that. That's because Christmas is built upon a throne of lies. You got me one of these a few years ago, and I really loved it, and I ran out of it, and I've actually had it on an alert on their website because I wanted to get another one, and they've been sold out for literal years. And the other day it popped up as an ad, and I was like, I wonder if it's back in stock finally. And it was. And I told you, I was like, you could get me another one of those candles. And then you were like, they're sold out. And then I was like, oh. Yeah. It's called lying in order to create genuine surprise on Christmas. That's what Wisconsin smells like as soon as you get off the plane in the airport. It's what, Is that what this air smells like? Yeah, they pump, they pump it into every restaurant. Butter, cranberry, maple, cool peppermint. Yep. Warm cinnamon crinkle on a snowy afternoon. This is for Dad. Yes. Dad, this is for you. For this, me? Yeah, from us. The book is a Blick catalog. So that's that's just a catalog that Blick has that shows the stuff that they have. Oh no, you can't do that. Well, I mean, it's too late. It's too late. You got your gift card. So you got a gift card to Blick, and now you can use that catalog to just pick out what you want. I thought it might be easier for you to just page through the catalog and look. Yeah. Oh, I know, but you shouldn't have... That, that's... Too bad. That's... Too bad. So now you got... Now you can just pick out what you want, if there's anything that sounds interesting to... You want to try, You know, or... for, for your art supplies, then you can just get whatever you want, and you can try out some new stuff or whatever. Well, well thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And I think it'll be fun for you to look through the catalog, to be honest, because there's all sorts of stuff in there. Well, I'd never get anything without asking Mal first, because I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know what's what's nice or good or anything. Well, you can look, and then you can ask me what uh -huh. and what I think about it, and I'll let you know. Yeah. But that's the sale catalog for the winner, okay. and then the big one is their full catalog with everything. Yeah. I think it'll be nice for you to just kind of yeah. take a okay. peek and see if there's anything interesting in there, and then you can try it out. Well, thank you. Yeah, I know. I know. Folks are anxiously awaiting on more of your art, um, and we'll get we'll get to it. I think when was the last one we did? Was it Halloween? It was around, Halloween. around Halloween. Yeah. So, 
there's 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 more coming. Just give us just give us a little more time. We'll probably have one. I thought I was hoping we'd have one out in December, but it'll be January. But we'll have we'll have another art drop out, I promise. Mom, that's for you. Oh. Oh my goodness. We actually looked at these. That is beautiful. And so so appropriate. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Absolutely. He said when he seen them, he goes, we need to get that for you. I go, I'm fine. I said, you put that thing in the microwave for me all the time. He goes, you really, really need to do it. Yeah, that. well, keep this from getting up and down, up and down. <laughs> so now you won't have to get yeah. up and down. I can just she's like, gonna steal She's under the, oh. the covers, and, or under the, the throw, and she's like, got Rocco on her, and she's... Freezing. And she's like, aren't you cold? I said, no, I'm fine. And I know it drives him crazy because like, <laughs> I'm like, we, we really need to turn that air off or we need to turn the heat up. And so this will probably solve that problem. Yep. Thank you. And You're it's welcome. so pretty. And you can try it out tonight. Yes. So soft. What time is it? 6.30. 6.30? That's not that long after we open gifts. Yeah. We got all sorts of things. I'm not going to bother naming it all. You have you just you just look at it and then you just look, <laughs> just look at it. Just look at what is here. Just look at it. There's a few less things I think than Thanksgiving. Yeah. So you cut things down a little bit. Which is good because, you know, there's only there's only the four of us and there's plenty of food. We're gonna be eating on this I'm sure for a few days. At least till tomorrow. <sighs> Tomorrow. Is he down there? Mm -hmm. yeah, he's right here. I straightened the rug and he thought it was giving him something and he was down there. Hey, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Look at that sweet boy. That's what you were doing. You look the same way. I took a nap. You come back over there, won't you? I took over. After dinner, I uh, fell asleep for a bit. I got a kink in my neck, but I'm all right. It's pie time, and I am I am so full. I can I I did not want pie because I ate I ate my food, but then I just I could I don't know if I even filmed it. I, we got a spiced meat station, and I just kept going over there and eating like all that stuff all day and also like the pretzels and the cookies and I just have done that all day and the idea of pie I'm like oh I can't eat pie it's the, not as good as my pie yeah we didn't we don't have a homemade pie but we didn't have time there's too much other stuff going 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 by happening I say I'm not gonna have any pie but I, I can tell I'm gonna have some of those cookies <laughs> you could tell I can tell well I can tell because look at them all of course they I'm going to. so much better. That's why you have to make several different kinds because when you make a cookie tray, it's a really boring thing if it's just one cookie on there. You have to have variety. It's what makes them look good. It is colorful. How are you feeling? Did you nap? Or no? I napped a while ago for like 20 minutes. You okay. missed her. Well, you before missed you nails. fell asleep. And then we played with nail polish. We've reached the part of the evening where the ham becomes sandwiches, little sliders. This has always been a tradition for, I think, Thanksgiving and Christmas. I think we yeah. do it anytime there's gonna be leftover stuff. It gets turned into those little sliders. I can't believe there are as many as there are because not everyone at this table eats these. So I'm gonna have to figure this out. And I asked for one. Mal wanted one, six showed up. That's what fit on the tray. You just made as many that would fit on the tray. For the toaster oven. Okay, I mean, that's one way of, sure, sure. When you're smashed me together, I feel like a sandwich. I feel like the buttermilk, or the butter, peanut butter, in the sandwich. We tried. Oh, you'll miss my hair up. We tried to take a, uh, a photo. It worked. It's fine. It's <laughs> yeah. It's it's beautiful. As long as he has both of his legs. Yeah. 
We uh we we should probably go. It's almost eleven o'clock now. No, eleven. It's almost twelve. What? No, it's not. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, it is. He has to take a picture of it. I wasn't sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. Then we should probably definitely go. Yeah. Probably definitely. <laughs> Are you reading the the catalog? Look at these kilns. <laughs> you can't have a kiln. You want to borrow Someday. my book, Mal? <laughs> Yeah, that's a Christmas present. Bring, present. bring it back when you come over. <laughs> uh, we had fun today. Um, we, yeah. Uh, we'll be. I guess we'll be back probably for leftovers tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow yeah. night. Yeah. You're gonna have to stop and put that down so we can leave. Okay. Looks like you just about finished it. Oh, you're talking to me. <laughs> oh, oh, my uh, oh my lord. Hi, bud. You good boy? Did you miss us? Did you miss us at Christmas? Don't worry. We brought you something back. Happy. You got a new toy. Grandma and Grandpa got you a new toy. Boop. It's a little Christmas rat. Do you hear him smelling it? Mm-hmm. I just cut his nails, so... I'm not really afraid of playing with him a little bit. There you go. That's better. What? Well, okay. <laughs> we, we might have better luck with that tomorrow. Oh, this is interesting. Tail. There's a little tail. Oh, we like this. This, yeah, this, this is exciting. This we like a lot. <laughs> we like that, bud. Get that tail. Oh yeah, now now this is my enemy. Oh, hold on. Got dirty. Oh. Did you have a good Christmas? I did. I did too. It was It was nice, it was calming, it was relaxing. Which in my opinion is what After a stressful two months we've had. Yeah. See that's that's what Christmas should be. In my opinion, Christmas should be focused on relaxation. Everyone does it differently. Some, I mean, some people have very hectic Christmases because they might be going to multiple households. They might Driving be doing cities away. Exactly. And like, if that's if that's what you want out of a Christmas, or I mean, given your circumstances, that might be just what is necessary. Then I hope that you had the best Christmas that you were able to have. For me, I fell asleep multiple times today some for extended periods of time and that was great it was really great i took some photos throughout today i posted them on instagram i made like a little i i'm not very good at posting oh. on instagram mm -hmm. but i was like today i was like i want to try and take some photos so I, I tried to take some photos and i put them all together it was really nice so it, it as i like put them together to post tonight, it reminded me of every part of our day, from like going over there and having breakfast, to um, just opening up all the gifts, and then eating so much spiced meat. I had a really, I had a really good time. And we'll see my parents again tomorrow, mm -hmm. because there are leftovers and they will need help. So, we'll do that tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely hope that you also had a uh, wonderful Christmas or just if you don't celebrate Christmas you just had a good weekend <laughs> I hope that it was a good weekend I hope that the, the holiday spirit uh, still got to you somehow and um, yeah we uh, we have less than a week left now of this year mm -hmm. I'm ready for 2022 I really am but we still have a few more days to talk about that and think about that yeah Merry Christmas Mel Merry Christmas Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? <laughs>